here is Jamil Jaffer, assistant professor at GMU Scalia Law School. Professor Jaffer, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. You know, it's been almost three weeks at, these, at this point with these protests, this effort now re-energized with the death of this 16-year-old girl who was also protesting. Are we watching a revolution unfold? Well, obviously, the Iranian people are expressing their uh, unhappiness with their government, uh, the way they're treating women, the way they've long treated uh, religious minorities uh, and the like in Iran. Um, and what we're seeing is a significant amount of protests. We're not seeing the millions of people uh, that we saw into the 1979 revolution, uh, but these are significant protests. And as you point out correctly, they've gone on for three weeks. That's in part because the regime has been restrained. They haven't cracked down as they have in the past very aggressively. So the question becomes now, will they crack down aggressively as these protests continue? And if they do, will that cause an even worse reaction against the regime's brutal repression of its own people? Well, it's, you know, worse reaction here. The government's response so far, it has been violence. It's been denial. Do you see the regime ever softening that stance or will it only get worse? Well, you know, I think the regime is likely to get more aggressive as these protests continue. We've seen the death of this young lady. We've seen deaths of others. They keep claiming that these women are jumping off of buildings or the like. Obviously, that's not happening. What's happening is here, they're being beaten to death by police as they protest. This is simply not acceptable. And the Iranian people know it, and they're seeing what their government really is capable of. Well, Professor Asley Lynn Vitter, in the last hour, I'll ask you now, is this turning into a good versus evil narrative? Well, you know, we've long known that the Iranian regime has sought to export terrorism around the region. We've seen their support for groups like Hezbollah, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and the like. And so we know that's their effort across the region. And now their own people are seeing what they do brutally to repress their own people. And so, you know, this is in a lot of ways a, a fight against good and evil. The question will, will, will the United States come aggressively on the side of the protesters? The president said the right things. Now it's time for action. You know, and speaking of action, the U.S. did impose sanctions this week on, on high-ranking Iranians. But we know that behind the scenes there's work continuing on this possible nuclear deal. Can that deal, in fact, be reached as these protests are raging on? Well, look, it's, it's hard to understand how the, the administration could go forward with uh, an effort at the nuclear deal, all the while criticizing the regime and recognizing the protests. I mean, the reality is the Iranian regime is not... Uh, a, a capable one. It's not one that's going to comply with a nuclear deal. And the administration needs to come to the reality that the Iranians don't want to make a deal here. Uh, they want their cake and eat it too. And we should stop giving in and we should reimpose even more aggressive sanctions on the regime as the prior administration had. All right, Professor, we thank you so much for your time.